Hi guys, this is Zizi here from Bagum Coaching and today we've got another episode of Position of the Day. Today's position is number 10. Um, this is a money game and we are black and supposed to play, play 6-4. Now, pause the video if you want to think about it as I'm going to discuss and explain the right move. Um, so this is like one of the most typical situations, pay now or pay later. Now, I'm going to discuss with you some ideas and some general approaches how you should think about these positions. Um, remember, if, you, if somebody tells you that there is a rule for pay now or pay later situations, or if somebody tells you that in Pagam and there are some rules, it's just not true. Everything you should just figure out and there are not just no rules 100% which works. So what we are doing is always figuring out the positions. So what we should see or we what we want to be noticing is um, how, what do we risk? What do we risk and how worse can it get? So which means risk reward. <clears throat> so for example, in this position, um, if we if we play 15 to 5, which would mean pay now, we would leave 5 immediate shots. We would leave 6-2, 5-3, and double 4. So 5 out of 36 numbers. Because 6-2 and 2-6, yeah, so that's like one, one same number, but we have to count it twice. So 6-2, 2-6, 5-3, 3-5. And just double four. So five out of 36 combinations to hit immediately, which we will be basically dead after that. So, um, okay, we will give him five numbers. And then, well, if even if he misses, the race will be still even. So, well, basically not that big of a gain because we will still have a long way to go. Although, you may ask, if the race, well, okay, let me show you the answer first, maybe. Um, we should not pay now. But the reason is not the race. Because even if we do, if, you, if I show you this situation, let's say I would cube, cube this already, we can see that actually 15 to 5 would be still a blunder, even though we are 17 pips up before the roll, so 27 after the roll. So, What's the key? How should we think about this? When the race is even, we shouldn't pay now. When we are 17 pips up, we shouldn't pay. So what's happening here? Well, risk reward. What we want to be noticing, what we want to be seeing is how worse can the position get? So let's say, back to original position, this was the original. If we don't pay now, well, we play 9-3, let's say 5-1. Well, what's he going to do? Well, we know what he's going to do. He's just going to play with these checkers inside, probably. And well, now we've got first chance to roll, let's say, a double. Like double 6, double 5, double 4, double 3, double 2, whatever. Um, this, if we roll double 6, double 5, and so on, that's our reward. That's our reward because we wouldn't leave any shot, right? Um, okay, well, if we don't, if we roll, let's say, 5-1, uh, we can still play safe. And he will still play something. And, well, now again, we've got a free roll, another free roll, where we can draw double 6, double 5, double 4, double 3, and so on. But again, what if we roll bad number? What if we roll, let's say, 6-1? Well, suddenly, okay, we leave a shot. We play 6, and let's say 1 here, or, well, maybe 1 here, whatever. Now, we can actually check, as that would be another position. Oh, not 6-4, but 6-1. Uh, yeah, same amount of, sh well, actually, 1. I guess this is one more shot, but closer to home, I guess. But uh, that's for another episode. Um, so, worst case, we, to simplify it, we would leave like same amount of shots. So basically, we are risking completely nothing. We didn't lose the race, 
we didn't crash our board, we didn't make our position worse. We so we have basically no risk. So there's no reason for us to pay now. Um, so this is what we compare as a first step: pay now or pay later, risk reward. How worse can it get? In this scenario, we see we will just get a free roll to roll a double because worst case we will leave that uh, six numbers to hit us. Okay, so. This is first step, what you want to be seeing, what you want to be noticing. Now, the second one, what we want to realize. Because usually the position, pay now or pay later, you can face with something like this. And now I'll just show a general idea, so I'll not mix it up with uh, our actual position of the day. Um, what you want to be seeing in these positions is that you... Uh, are also blocking your opponent. So you want to uh, notice who actually blocks who. That's why um, you can read in maybe some books or somewhere that when you're up in the race, then you should just pay now. But, well, it's not true. It's not true like a rule. It's true because most likely it's going to be true if the position was maybe something like this, I guess, now you would pay now because now you just leave 11 shots. But if you do something like this, now, well, you can leave 17 shots. So now it would get much worse for you. So in this spot, um, you would like to pay now if you are 30 pips up because now why? Well, because you are not causing any harm to your opponent. Notice that in the position before, um, when the race was even or when the position was even 17 pips up, 14 pips up, well, suddenly we got into this position. We are still a lot of pips up, but well, we are also blocking our opponent. So it's kind of mutual, you know? So. That's something what in pay now or pay later situations we want to pay attention to. Who is profiting more? Who is benefiting more from, from the contact? And sometimes we are also benefiting from it, you know. So, uh, yeah, this is just what I want you to have in mind. Um, these are two general ideas in pay now or pay later. I didn't want to mix it up with another position, so I just explained uh, the first one, uh, the 6-4, why this is so obvious not to pay now. And that's because there is no risk for us to stay there, and we are basically free rolling if we roll a double us. It cannot get worse, it can get worse, but we can free roll for a double, right? And then we've explained some uh, other scenarios, what you should uh, pay attention to and how you should think in a risk reward scenario about who blocks, who benefits from the contact, who benefits from the, from the block, how much you help yourself and so on. That's another philosophy for another category or for another episode. Um, this, so for this one, this is it. Thank you for watching, thanks, have a good day, and hope to see you soon with another position of the day. If you enjoy learning about backgammon, watching backgammon, we upload videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Make sure to subscribe so you will not miss any of our content. And remember, when you think there is nothing else coming up, there's always something coming up.